programme Jeremy Clarkson fronts earns the BBC millions of dollars. He's no stranger to controversy, but this time a British newspaper has accused him of using a racial slur, the so-called N-word, while reciting an old nursery rhyme during the recording of an episode. He denies it, releasing this video on Twitter to defend himself and apologise. If you listen very carefully with the sound turned right up, it did appear that I'd actually used the word I was trying to obscure. I was mortified by this, horrified. It is a word I loathe. Cue a media frenzy with calls for him to be sacked and others rushing to his defence. To his many fans, Clarkson's sense of humour is harmless irreverence, defiance in the face of political correctness, resentment at being told what you can and cannot say. He may sail close to the wind, but he insists he means no harm. Others say it's much more serious and speaks to a lingering prejudice in British society. Critics would point to the rising popularity of UKIP and its leader Nigel Farage, a new political party which rails against the European Union and immigration. A similar worldview to Clarkson, some argue. UKIP leaders and supporters say they're just rebelling against a dominant liberal narrative. Others accuse them and people like Clarkson of encouraging racism. He is a kind of anti-role model. He will, if he's allowed, if this is allowed to pass, he will open the door to people making statements at work, making statements in school. That's what I worry about. But some detect a witch hunt against Clarkson. These are people not, I think, that are friends to minorities, but again, are using it to their own end to just get at Clarkson. The BBC is in a difficult position. Getting rid of Clarkson would almost certainly damage one of their most popular shows and alienate some of the audience. Failure to do so would open it to accusations of being soft on racism. Simon McGregor Wood, Al Jazeera, London.